Hi, my name is Tom. I was sent this ultrasonic jewelry cleaner from Smarbird to go ahead and kind of give it a review and tell you all about it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So this is an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. Uh, it's not plugged in right now, but I want to kind of show you what it looks like and all the features of it. Uh, it's basically just a little canister. It's great. It's got a little LED screen here. When I plug it in, you'll see the lights come up. It does have a top. Now, it has a couple things on it. The top does have UV lighting as well. So once you actually turn, turn it on, uh, it will ultrasonically clean. So the inside is stainless steel that will vibrate very, very, very fastly ultrasonically. And then this will go ahead and apply the UV lighting. Uh, and those two things will actually clean jewelry, dentures, uh, sun glasses. If you just put something small in here, you can put uh, all kind of rings, necklaces, anything you want into this to go ahead and clean it out. You just use tap water. You can use jewelry cleaner if you want, solution of some sort. I just use tap water. My wife and I have used it a couple different times and it worked pretty well. Uh, just so you know, this thing holds about 14 ounces or so of water. You know, there's a little max line you fill it up to in there. It's about three inches wide and it's about uh, uh, one and three quarters uh, inch deep. So just so you know, as long as your things will fit in there, you can put the top on and you use UV light. If it doesn't fit in there, it's okay. You can still go ahead and clean it ultrasonically. Like my sun, my, my glasses will not fit on their own. However, if I really want to clean them, I can put them half in like that, clean it, and then go ahead, take it out and do the other side, and it'll work just as well. So let's talk about everything you get. Obviously, you get the cleaner itself. There it is. You do also get a power cord. Here it is, just a regular uh, two-prong plug that plugs in. And then the other little end, it just fits into the back of the cleaner itself. That's fine. You also do get tweezers for kind of pulling things out of the cleaner and you get this denture brush uh, for cleaning dentures but also it's great for jewelry so you can hold a piece of jewelry here and kind of scrub it and just kind of get all that stuff off be on the safe side I, what i actually do is i dip it i scrub a little bit and then i put it in the ultrasonic and that kind of takes everything off the ultrasonic will also go ahead and loosen some of the dirt on it even if it doesn't take it off right away this will help kind of clean it up. You also get a little instruction manual which kind of walks you through the different settings. Uh, you can set it to change for three different timings depending upon how much you want to clean your jewelry. And then you also get this nice little plastic bag with a drawstring. You can put everything in the bag, just kind of zip it up, to keep it under your sink of uh, the kitchen or bathroom or wherever you keep it. Just kind of store it away. So that's nice too. I like storage units like this. That's helpful. Okay, here we go. I have it plugged into the wall and I'm ready to go. I'm going to take the top off. I'm going to just take some water here. Again, about 14 ounces. I'm going to fill it up to about the max line. That's pretty good. And now what I'm going to do, I'll move it a little closer so you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and take some of this jewelry. We have not cleaned the jewelry in a while. And we're just going to pop it in. There's a piece there. There's an old ring. Uh, here's a pin of some sort. We're going to drop that in. There's another little thing. And a little pendant. We'll drop it in. I'm not sure if you're actually going to see the difference on the camera. Uh, but we're going to still go ahead and clean it and give it a shot. Now, again, these little UV lights are in here. When I close this up, these little metal things will hit the uh, uh, posts in the back once I get them all lined up. There we go, lined up. Okay, now that everything's inside, I'm just going to go ahead and press the power button. And all it does, when you press the power button, it just immediately starts up. This is five minutes. If I hit mode, it'll go up to eight minutes. I hit mode one more time, it'll go up to ten minutes. But I'm going to go back to just five minutes. I'm going to let it go, and it just counts down. It counts down seconds. So I'm going to let this go. Uh, it's a small little buzzing sound. I don't think you can hear it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the microphone closer just so you can hear it. But it's really pretty quiet. There's really not much there. Um, it, you would barely notice it if it sat on your counter. You can easily talk to someone, and it does not disrupt you at all. It's a really, really quiet cleaner. But I'm going to go ahead and let this go, and we'll see what happens after the uh, three minutes is up, or five minutes is up. Here we go. A couple seconds left, and ta -da. that's it. It's done. So I'm going to lift everything up here, and I'm going to see what we got. Now, I've got my tweezers and my uh, brush here. And, oops. I'm going to pull that out. for Holy smokes. Well, it's shinier. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to... Kind of scrub that off a little bit. Oops, sorry, there we go. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, I could probably put it in for a little longer. Okay, that looks pretty good too. Uh, again, I'm not sure if you see it on the camera, but it is, uh, it is a little shinier. I think this one's actually a darker metal. 
And as I brush it, I'm actually getting a little more off. So I should probably put this one in for a little longer as well. But you can definitely see a difference there in the glittering and the shining a little bit. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Same thing here. Nice. I should probably go ahead and rinse or brush it off a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that worked pretty well too. That looks nice. I like that. And what else do we have in here? We have a uh, high school ring. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that stone. That gemstone has not shined like that in a while. I believe it's the actual uh, the actual metal itself is a little bit tarnished, so a little bit of cleaner. Like a tarnish cleaner might actually work a little better than this, but it does get a lot of the junk off. Uh, it's hard to tell again on the camera, but I can actually see details of this ring that I haven't seen in, in years. And then let's see here. The cross, wow. All right, again, hard to tell on the camera. I think I'm looking at the screen, but this is very, very sparkly. This, it really, really excels on those gemstones. It really takes a lot of that stuff out. And then the interesting thing is, I'm not sure if you can see it here. Let's see if we can move in here. There is actually some residue and some powder and some junk and some dirt in there. Uh, but again, I might want to go ahead and put these all back in for the longer, for the 10 minute uh, cycle, because these have not been washed in a while. And there's really no harm in putting them in for a little while longer to go ahead and clean up. So, yeah, overall, very nice. Uh, I like it. I like the fact that it did. It's obviously a noticeable difference, especially on the gemstones. The gemstones themselves really are sparkly. Uh, I'm going to pin, pinch myself on that pin. Uh, but the stones themselves really are very sparkly. That's where it's going to excel. It's going to get all that grime off of them. Wow. Really pretty neat, pretty simple, pretty quiet. So I just finished cleaning up some of my wife's jewelry. Uh, just some little pieces, a little diamond cross and a couple of little things. And she was so impressed. She ran right upstairs to grab all of her wedding diamonds or rings. She's going to throw them in next because she's really excited. She was really pretty amazed. Uh, so it does work really well. It does clean things really, really well. Again, if you want to put a little cleaning solution in there, it can't hurt. Uh, they actually just recommend a little drop or two of dish soap in with the water, which is interesting. I guess that kind of just cuts down the oils and kind of removes some of that. Just kind of a cleaning mechanism. Uh, but yeah, it works really great and I'm very impressed. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Just go ahead and put some water in, pop it in, let it go ahead and clean, take them out, rinse them off, dry them off, and you're set. You've cleaned out your jewelry, your dentures, whatever. It does work very well. Uh, I really like the fact that it's so small. It's convenient. It just works. Uh, yeah, it's highly recommended.